I want to show you guys something. I don't want to show you like a big thousand billion dollar trade or how much money I made, but I want to show you something that gave me a really good idea, a plan today to make money. I'm going to show you the setup, the time frame, the overall strategy, and how it all played out beautifully. People just absolutely cha-chinging, cha-chinging, cashing in today on the live stream with this setup. And if you guys don't know what I'm looking at, well, you're never going to get to this level. So I want you guys to see what I see. We'll take a look at the chart and break down this move that we talked about live during the live stream this morning. 9.15 a.m. Be there. Let's go. All right, so this morning we had this choppy action. You can see these candles is chop. This is like 10 point chop from the 62s up here, 70s, chop, chop, chop. We knew that we had this big move up pre-market, so we moved up here to the 75s. And basically what I was looking for at this point was like, okay, we're either gonna break out here and open and push up, or there's a very good chance we kind of pull back, we touch the VWAP, and then we get that move up. The thing about this is like, let's obviously get rid of like all that, right? Like it looks like, okay, it's gonna break. I actually took one little trade here trying to get this breakout and then got stopped out when it couldn't break right there. So the big kind of idea here is number one, what was the problem with this breakout trade? First off, I think you know the MACD was not crossing up there, still bearish on the MACD. So that's something to think about when you're entering these breakout trades when the MACD is not showing strength. A lot of times these fake outs end up turning into chop or they don't end up breaking out to the upside. So. As you can see, we keep chopping, we're chopping, we're chopping, and just look at this chop, right? Like it's pretty much just going straight down, chopping, but look what's forming, kind of this downward trend here. We're starting to put in some bottoms here. And what's interesting is if you look at these two candles right here, look at these two candles. You have a pretty like bodied candle, you know, like engulfing bearish body candle, boom, going down, right? And then if you look here at this next candle, we have a nice little body candle there. So we had these kind of body chop candles here, kind of holding, all right, we finally get the break, but you can see the difference between like chop, 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 and then these two like kind of reversal candles. But let's really focus on the bigger picture here. I think when the market's giving you these choppy, crazy areas, the best thing to do is look at the bigger time frames. It's gonna be a lot cleaner, it's gonna be a lot easier to kind of get an idea of what to do. Now, what were we looking for? We were looking for that VWAP, looking for the VWAP pullback. And that's exactly where that white line is. So that white line was the VWAP. You can see we were holding there at the VWAP. That was where those candles were sitting at, those two candles I just showed you. We had this overall downtrend on the 15 minute chart. We had the pivot point here at the 181s. We knew that if we could get above that pivot point, it would be a pretty quick move up there to the 90s. And that's exactly what happened. So we held right there at the pivot we held right there at the VWAP and everything was kind of lining up and at this point I said during the live stream seeing the 15 minute chart holding the VWAP there I was like hey if we can hold the VWAP here this is going to be very bullish and I think we're going to squeeze higher and get above that high of day and that's exactly what we ended up doing you can see here we ended up going from hey if you guys are watching this video you're probably trying to learn more about futures right you want to get into trading futures what should you do how should you do it I think one of the best ways to do it right now, especially with the discount, is going through the top step combine. Following the rules, you go through with very limited risk. You learn, you practice, you see the potential, you look at the setups, you follow on the YouTube live stream and all that fun stuff. So if you guys wanna check it out, there's a link down below to learn more with a 25% discount. It's market profile 25 is the code and it will only last until this Friday, Friday night, and then it's done. And then next week, next Monday, I will be starting live in the Top Step account, trading combine, step one, doing it with you guys next week. So if you wanna join in on the action, there's never been a better time with the discount and then obviously me doing it as well. Let's get back into the idea of how to make so much money. The 60s and squeezing all the way up there to the 90s. And look at how beautifully this played out. My entry really was right here above the high of this candle as we were pushing back up, kind of seeing that reversal possible. But the overall, you know, I would say safe, more consistent, better entry on this setup was waiting for that MACD. You had the MACD cross pretty much like right here on this candle. So once that MACD crosses, you're like, okay, I know, we already knew that that 72 area 
was going to be resistance right there. So we're trying to either wait for that breakout over 72 and then get that move up to the 90s or we're kind of looking for this area here back above the ADMA. We had the MACD cross. So those things were all lining up. We had the 15 minute chart confirming the support there with the VWAP. The VWAP was holding. So what do we got? We got VWAP. We got the overall momentum here with the MACD starting to push back up. We're getting the breakout back to the upside. So, you know, step one, VWAP held. We held the VWAP. Step two, we start to break back out to the upside here, breaking this overall downward trend. We had this nice, big, engulfing, bullish candle from the 58s up here to the 66s. And then we start to kind of get back above the EMAs. We get the cross on the 80 EMA. We got the 51, the red one, and the 21 right there. So at this point, over 72, it's just like this thing's gonna go nuts. And that's exactly what happened. Look at that break. Over 72 here, we push all the way to the 84s and then all the way up here to the 96s. And it was funny because actually during the live stream, I said, hey, you know, I think there's a good chance that we kind of, you know, we pull back here, kind of 80 level. That was pretty much where that pivot point was. Remember the 15 minute chart showing us that 180 pivot point and guess where we pulled back to? We pulled back to that pivot point there at the 80s. We then bounced off that pivot up here to the 94s. A overall just technically just beautiful setup here on the 15 minute chart really that VWAP just really so important I'm always keeping an eye on where that VWAP is you know if we're above the VWAP I'm staying bullish if we're below the VWAP I'm bearish but today when we see that we're above the VWAP like this at open we pull back and look there's the VWAP we pull back we bounce and there's that move so if you guys missed out on this move here number one you're not watching a live stream number two you're, you're not following along in the plan, right? We know the VWAP's there. We had that reversal kind of push back up, you know, that 15 minute candle showing the indecision right there. This candle just ripping back up. The high on that candle was 72. So again, you know, you could wait for that break over 72. You got the 15 minute set up there and there's an easy, you know, 20 handles to the upside up there to 92. And that was right there where that pivot point was, everything lining up beautifully. This is all part of the strategy, the Patrick Wheeler strategy that we talk about every day in the course and all that fun stuff. So, you know, there's that big move back up. You can see the explosion. We held the VWAP and we were off to the races. And that was really just a overall technically beautiful move back up there to that 200 level. And we are looking possibly here later today, kind of pushing up to that next pivot up to the 230s um, after that. So. That was the big move we were looking for, and you can see how beautiful it all just played out with the MACD and that nice little push up. Like I said, my target being above that pivot point there at the 180s, and I talked about very, very strongly that idea of pushing up there to the 90s. We got a high of 96 there on that move. So this is what I'm looking at. I'm looking at this, right? Like looking at this big move up pre-market from the 50s. Okay, perfect. Guess what? We pull back. We test the 50s again here that 53 at open you know really no reason obviously like we took that one little trade there but after that like let's get out if we don't squeeze right away on those breakouts then we get out of them we don't hold we don't hope and pray it would have worked out but i'm not going to hold from 70 to 50 that's for sure so obviously we're looking for a quick break if it's not breaking quick then we're getting out and we're waiting for that next setup and this was the setup right there bouncing beautifully there off the vwap and all the way up there to almost 200 now so what a day, what a time. This is very simple strategy. This is a three minute chart. Got my EMAs, got the MACD. This is all pretty much standard settings. I don't really adjust the settings. I keep everything very standard and that's exactly how we trade. We look for momentum, we look for breakouts and you guys had it all lined up and that's just a very simple strategy, the very simple idea behind it all. So there it is. Like I said, it wasn't about me showing you how much money I made or how awesome I am, but I want you guys to see these setups, to understand the setups, and to be kind of learning, you know, maybe adapt this, maybe look and be like, okay, that makes sense. We're above the VWAP, we're squeezing, all right, we're breaking out, we got all these things lining up, the MACD is bullish. Yeah, okay, perfect, all those things are lining up perfectly, now it's time to take a trade, and that's when we get those really, really, really good moves when everything's all lined up perfectly. Remember, the market's gonna chop when there's indecision. When there's indecision between the buyers and the sellers, there's a battle, they don't know if it's gonna go up, they don't know if it's gonna go down, that's when you get those choppy areas. When we start to get a move up, and there's you know a lot of things pointing towards us moving higher, well, that's when you get those nice, solid, beautiful moves to the upside. So. There it is. If you guys haven't hit that like button, subscribe button, and all the buttons down below, you know what to do. I will talk to you guys later on.